welcome to the learn it in this topic we'll be taking unit 1 of physical education the name of the unit is planning in sports and topic 3 there is a special type of knockout tournament which is also known as consolation tournament in this one additional chance is given to the defeated teams and the winner is declared from the defeated teams itself after they have already played one of the tournament it is basically of two types in type 1 the teams defeated in round first are allowed to participate new fixture is prepared for this kind of categories and the team who did not get by earlier will now be given byes but in type 2 the teams defeated in all the rounds are given additional chances to play in the tournament let us take an example of fixture of double knockout tournament which we just spoke of here also basically there are nine teams which is odd in number so we'll divide this nine team and take the total number of matches which is 9 minus 1 then it will be having eight matches of itself now let us divide it into upper half and lower half in the upper half the formula is same n plus 1 by 2 and for lower half it is n minus 1 by 2 so we'll get five team in the upper half and four teams in the lower half now we'll calculate byes for byes we just have to calculate the nearest power of 2 in case if it is 9 the nearest power is 16 so 16 minus 9 will only get 7 byes then at the time of distribution the first byes is given in a process which is into the lower half to the last team the first byes will be given in the upper half first team will get second byes in the lower half sixth team will get third byes in upper half fifth team will get four by in lower half eighth team will get fifth by in upper half second team will get sixth by in lower half seventh team will get seven by so a total number of seven byes will be given in first round itself only two teams which is team number 3 and team number 4 will play and the winner will go into the second round in second round all the teams will play with each other and they will directly go to the semi final and then we'll go to the finals this is the winner but in case of consolation winner all the defeated team which are defeated previously for example if team number 3 is defeated team number 2 7 9 and 4 are defeated previously in case of these kind of team again this kind of fixture will be made in case of five team they will be taken 5 minus 1 total number of matches will be 4 same byes will be calculated upper half and lower half will be calculated byes will be divided into upper half and lower half and then there will be one first round second round and third round and the winner will known as consolation tournament winner now let us discuss the seating tournament in detail it is the sorting of teams and fitting them into the fixtures so that the stronger team does not meet each other in the early rounds as we have already discussed it is known as seating the criteria for sorting the teams are their performances the reason why seeding is used in tournament is that if a strong team loses the match in initial rounds then there would be no interest left in the matches for the spectators and since spectators are the main source of funding seeding is done let us take an example of seeding as you all know that seeding is getting the team top teams into the top ranks of upper half and at the lower half it is at the dividedition time or at the dividedition of upper half and lower half at that time only all the important and all the main teams or the powerful teams has been divided into two equal halves so that there is equal chances of them being participating in the finals or the semi finals or emerging as a winner let us take an example of this seeding we are having 20 teams 20 is divided into equal half and 10 will be in upper half and 10 will be in lower half for example in these kind of seedings we have four teams which has to be seeded now we'll take the same equation as we are taking in setting byes we'll give one seed that one seeding is given to the lower half the second seeding is given to the upper half third seeding is given to the lower half of the first team and last seeding will be given on the last team of upper half and they will directly enter to the quarter final they will not play the initial first and second round and they will final directly be 
going to the third round, fourth round and might be win, emerging as a winner. Now what is the importance of the seeding tournament is to avoid strong team competing with each other in initial rounds. A strong team based on their previous performances are selected to keep at appropriate places in the fixtures. Generally the seeded teams are in the power of 2 that is 4, 8, 16 etc. First seed is kept on the top of the upper half, second seed is kept in the bottom of lower half, third seed is kept on the bottom of upper half and fourth seed is kept on the top of lower half and so on. The remaining teams are kept in the fixtures by lots. If you want to get another look at the example of seeding, you can just pause it and go through it. You will get a clear idea of what a seeding means and why it is divided into two parts and why seed is given into these kind of categories and make sure that these teams is of 13 quantity which means total number of matches will be 13 minus 1 which is 12. Let us move to the next league tournament which is staircase. All the knockout tournament fixtures have been completed. Now we are moving on to the next tournament which is league tournament. The first topic is staircase method. Now what do you mean by staircase method? It is one of the simplest method. In this method, the fixtures are made just like a ladder or a staircase. In this method, no buys are given to any team and there is no problem of even or odd number of teams. It includes fixing matches of one team with all other teams and the winner is decided on the basis of the points. Let us take an example of staircase. It is one of the smallest and simplest case. It is having a minor change. The formula for finding the total number of matches in this changes by single digit, which is formula is n bracket open n minus 1 bracket close whole divided by 2, which is n n minus 1 by 2. For example, in this team, there are basically total number of 7 teams are present which is known as n and when we are putting this in formula then it is telling us that 7 bracket 7 minus 1 divided by 2 which is 7 multiplied by 6 divided by 2 7 multiplied by 6 is 42 which is divided by 2 then the, we will get the total number of matches these team will be having is 21 which means the total number of matches in these kind of cases will be 21 and it can be calculated according to the formula given onto the right side of the screen. If we want to calculate it without providing this formula also, we can just see the staircase chart. In this, we have written team number 1. Team number 1, if 7 teams are there, we will write team number 1 name only 6 times because team number 1 can't play with itself. So team number 1 will play with 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. As team number 1 is had already played with team number 2, that's why we will skip the next line and start with the second line of the staircase which is starting with 2. As we have already written 1 6 times, we will write 2 5 times. Then these team 2 will play with 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then as 3 had already played a game with team 2 or team 2 is already had played with team 3 then we will skip the next version and we will go to the third point your third team. Team 3 will play with all the teams except 2 and 1 then we will get 3 4 times and they will play a match with 4 5 6 7 and so on. We will be getting my point if not you can repeat it again. Now let us move to the next topic which is cyclic tournament. In cyclic league method league tournament one team will be fixed in a particular position and all other team will move in a particular direction. If a number of teams are odd then only buy will be kept in the match and in place will be fixed in the first position of the right side of the fixture. A number of matches played will be equal to the number of team. This is so because the buy is also counted as a team. Number of matches is equals to number of teams only when number of teams are odd. In case of even matches, number of matches is equals to number of teams minus 1. So let us see again it. 
In cyclic method, if the number of team is even, the team number one is fixed on the top of right hand side and other teams in ascending order consecutively downward and then upward on the left side and rotate them clockwise. If the number of teams is odd, then by is fixed on the top right side and the rest procedure remains same. Before move, we move to the example section, let us describe how to get the total number of matches. For example, we are having here pink and green section. One is having even teams and second one is having odd teams. In this, there are five rounds, which is I 1R, 2R, 3R, 4R and 5R. And especially same for the odd teams also. So let us take an example how we can find the total number of matches these six teams will play. So the formula is same as in case of a staircase, which is N n minus 1 by 2 in this case n is 6 or the total number of team is 6 then the formula goes like this 6 6 minus 1 by 2 which is 6 into 5 by 2 which is 30 by 2 and when 30 is divided by 2 it gets us to 15 so there will be 15 matches in total of these six teams in even teams in case of first place in first round there are basically six teams names are written there which start from the left side it is one two three and on the right side in first round it is six five four so in this kind of cyclic method it works like this we'll put this team number one will be fixed here and all the team will get a cyclic round around it so let us take an example of first round first team is fixed and all other teams will take a round in the second round team number one is fixed now team number two's place has been shifted with six three place has been shifted with two fourth place have been shifted with three fifth place has been shifted with four and where it was six team place it has been shifted with team number five in third round it will jump one more seat team one will be fixed at place of 6 team 5 will be there at the place of 2 team number 6 will be there at the place of 2 3 2 will be there at the place of 4 3 team will be there and at the place of 5 the team 4 will take and so on it will go on continue until they will get all about 15 matches in case of cyclic method with odd teams only a single change is there in place of team number 1 where it is written the total number of matches will remain fixed which is 15 but if teams are 5 they will be given a single buy at the starting point which means 5th team will have a match with a buy 4th team will have a match with 1 and 3th team will have a match with 2 and so on they will be shifting their, pay, their places with the buys. Now let us move on to the next topic which is methods to deciding winner in league. How can we decide if somebody has win this match or how much point has to be allotted to teams which are winning, losing or if they are having a draw. For winner of the match, we have appointed 2 points for them. If somebody loses the match, it is 0 point and if a team draws, 1 point goes to each of the team. Now what is takeaway? team having the maximum point is declared winner for example if five team have fifth team has having 10 points and fourth team is having only four points then the total number of teams having highest amount of point will be declared as the winner if there is a tie between two teams then both teams will get equal points that's it for today's video i hope you have understood the topics very well but for more understanding, I, I urge all of you to repeat this video again for clearer understanding. If you like the video and its content, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to comment your name in the comment section. If you are unable to understand or is struggling in any of the topic, please write the topic in the comment section. I will sure, surely try to get to you soon. So for more of such videos, stay tuned to the channel, stay safe, stay healthy and don't forget to learn it.